now some questions to you, Van, I suppose. Yeah. Um, um, I had written some written down, but, um, mate, first year professional rugby coach, correct? Yes, yes. How's that, mate, um, from obviously playing to coaching? What do you enjoy the most about um, coaching at this level? Mate, um, yeah, sort of had, had those five years once I finished playing, sort of uh, getting a, a general feel of it, but this has been a massive step up, obviously, in context, um, especially with World Series Rugby. It's, it's a pretty new concept, but enjoying being around uh, the boys in, in this sort of context again and, uh, and the challenge, sort of, uh, obviously, with this level of, of player, um, yeah, you've got to be on your toes and, um, and and really enjoying that aspect of it and a good bit of niggle around the club, mate, which uh, you're right at the front of. <laughs> Try not to be. <laughs> um, good stuff. Now, um, you played with Rocket um, and I've been unfortunate to play with him as well. Mate, is he still as soft now as he was back then? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. He has his moments, Rocky, so uh, he's, I've always called him a two-stroke, mate. They run hot and they break down a lot, so. <laughs> oh, I think that could be got... his new name, two-stroke. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's got genuine gas, and, and when you're running at those sort of RPMs, mate, you've got to be very delicate with how you handle the uh, machinery. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'm not denying he's got gas, he's definitely got that. Um, oh, good stuff, good stuff. Now, uh... Unfortunately, your wife and your young fella aren't, aren't here with you at the moment and you've spent a lot of time um, by yourself over the past few months. Mate, um, I hear you haven't cooked more than twice, is that true? Mate, uh, that is affirmative. So uh, the uh, takeaway places around Perth, especially down this, uh, this edge over this way, have been getting a red hot uh, workout by me. But um, I was airbnb for a long period of time. The, the girl did arrive Friday night, so I've had a packed lunch the last three days, which has been exceptional, but uh, Kirkwood, Delhi, Boat Shed, uh, all the strips around uh, Claremont have been getting a red hot crack, so yeah. Getting plenty of business. Yeah, the stomach's not liking it too much, but uh, yeah, a bit more activity these days. I was going to say, you probably need to get your skin folds done ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I'll try and stay away from them post, post footy, mate. You that's don't need that uh, kick in the guts. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. Um, now, you were telling me a while ago you um, managed to play footy, and I'm sort of getting towards the, uh, well, I would have, I'm in the, in the older crowd in, in the Western Force um, players group, um, the old above 30s, the golden age. You told me that you were able to play professional footy till the age of 37. I'd love to know your secret. Mate, um, yeah, it was just blind luck, I guess, sort of uh, more so than any specific secret. I sort of you look to stay on the board and uh, and on the wave as long as possible, and I think I was 100%. pouring at the sand halfway up the beach by the end of my career, and would have loved to have played another couple of years. It's uh, it's definitely one of those things seeing you guys fire up for a game, and uh, especially the Crusaders game. It was uh, it was one of those ones that you'd possibly want to pull the boots back on for until you saw how physical it was out there, and then you reconsider that. <laughs> reconsider <laughs> happy to be in, and happy to be in your runners. <laughs> Just flicking a bit of water up from the sideline, mate. That's a, that's a support role. That's a story. One last thing, mate. Um, every week we have um, the player interviews um, just inside the club. This isn't known to the public, but um, <coughs> the last question every week is which coach, if you had to get rid of a coach, um, would you get rid of? Mate, I'm not going to lie to you, and you know yourself, you've taken a bit of a hiding. Um, and there's been a few guys that, if it had come to push, came to shove, um, they'd get rid of you. And um, mate, that would that I feel would be pretty hard on you. Um, but um, now it's your turn. Uh, if you had to get rid of a player, who would it be, and why? Oh. And uh, Jacques, remember Jacques isn't playing. Okay, uh, he'd be an easy target. <laughs> I wouldn't uh, give myself the, the joker there, but. Uh... Wow, here we yeah. go. This yeah. is uh, actually uh, a very good question. Um, and remember when I said I'd get rid of you? Yeah, <laughs> that was, yeah. That, that's <laughs> I, personal, I was actually, <laughs> we floated past that part, didn't we? But, uh, mate, uh, I probably wouldn't, 
delve into the piggies too much. I'm, yeah, I'm a yeah. bit loyal, but yeah, um, yeah I, I reckon we have we have far too many backs in general for my liking. <laughs> yeah, just which one I'd flick. But uh, there's there's plenty of heads on the block. If yeah. I had to narrow it down on the spot, um, wow. Yeah, who would that be? Mate, it'd probably be... Uh, I reckon there's too many halfbacks in general, so yeah. I'd, I'd probably get rid of uh, get rid of Sitchi, mate. He's, he's yeah. quite quite angry at times, and he gives me a bit of lip, so yeah. I'm, I'm just... Uh, oh, I'm just past copping yeah. sort of lip from angry halfbacks, so I'd flick him, mate. He's the captain, so yeah. it'd leave a space for you there too, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I've always thought I was a good nine, too. Yeah, uh, mate. <laughs> Done deal. Yeah, but, uh, no, such an obvious choice. Yeah, yeah obvious yeah, choice. No, just too much slip. You know, those nines, they just don't uh, stop. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm not even in a jersey. That's small man syndrome. Lip, That's small so. man syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'll just hit you before you, uh, you're you taking off, uh, heading back to, to New Zealand. Oh, not oh, New Zealand <coughs> on a break, but then back to Japan, mate. Sort of, uh, what's the deal there? Yeah, yeah. So um, originally um, with the Western Force, I signed um, till the end of July. Um, so that um, I could uh, potentially go back and play ITM Cup for Bay of Plenty in New Zealand or look back, look to go back overseas. Um, and yeah, I was um, weighing it up, but um, decided to head back to Japan. Um, yeah, my, I've obviously been there before, like yourself, um, and probably my first experience was um, pretty challenging, um, but I'm going to a new club um, this time around, and, I know the coaches pretty well there, um, New Zealand coaches, and a lot of the boys at Coca-Cola, the foreign boys I've played with, um, and they're actually good mates, so I'm um, looking forward to it. Um, it's a six-month six month contract with um, Coca-Cola, um, and then, yeah, I'll come back to the, the sunny Perth and, and the Western Force boys next, year's, next year. Um, I love it here, um, so it was a no-brainer to, to come back. Oh, mate, sounds good. So. Uh... We'll just, we'll just touch on this, uh, it's talk time for Toyota, and uh, we're driving in this uh, this Toyota Hilux, mate. What do you reckon about how it handles? I've just got to actually remember where I am. I've just been driving around aimlessly, yeah, yeah. so. I think we're going the right way, mate. This, yeah, uh, I'm back on now. This, um, the Hilux is made, I mean, they're very popular here in Australia, and mate, it goes without saying, every hunter and, and four-wheel driver in New Zealand, um, don't go past the Hilux, mate. They're great, reliable utes. This one, I'm sure, is very reliable for our head coach, who just keeps getting perks after perks. Um, there's no filter there. There's no filter. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, I see, look, if Sambo uh, wants to uh, to trade it in, I'm more than happy to, to grab it off and make their uh, the great vehicles, as, as everyone knows. And if I had to characterise you as a, as a vehicle, mate, I'd say you're a Toyota, mate. You're very reliable. You, uh, oh. Every time you push the button, you turn on, and uh, you know what you're going to get. So, oh, thanks, uh, mate. Thanks. Yeah, but uh, best of luck in, in Japan, mate, and uh, yeah, enjoy your, your bit of a break beforehand. And, um, yeah, be uh, raring to go for next year when you get back. Awesome. Cheers, Van. It was okay. a great interview, yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Jokes. Peace out. <laughs>